Hey, ducky doos. Oh, hey, Comfy. Oh, you're very chatty today. Hey, everybody, welcome back. We're in the greenhouse and we're going to take a look at the liquid waste from the biodigester to use as fertilizer. We're going to compare it against store bought fertilizer and work out comparisons of the dilutions. So, here's our setup for today. We've got rainwater, we've got some diluted all purpose liquid fertilizer. The recommendation on the back of the box for this was two spoonfuls for nine litres. So, we've done that and then filled up the jar. We've got some diluted bio liquid, which I've also added to nine litres and just filled up the jar. I've cheated a little bit because uh, I've already measured the EC and uh, put in you know, roughly the same comparison. And there's the concentrate. So we'll measure all these up with our little EC meter. Uh, that's just off eBay. Nice eBay job. Now the Australian standard for fertilizers, this applies to potting mixes. Um, it gives an EC reading of 0.5 to 2. Uh, anything greater than two, you'll end up like salt burns and uh, you know, nitrogen burns and things like that. So as a guide for salts in that, four parts per million for rainwater. For the Hornico all purpose, we're looking at 330, we'll call it 336. For the biodigester concentrate straight out of the, uh, the tank. Yeah. That's a lot of salts. So we'll call that 3591. And the diluted bio liquid, measure this. Three eighty-eight sounds good. So we have all our results written down. Now to go from parts per million into EC value, we do our result times two divided by hundred, and for the Hortico all-purpose, it gives us a value of 0.67, which is a decent amount of salts within that nine liters of water. Uh, the bio liquid. Now, as I said, I cheated before and added manually added uh, some liquid into the nine liters of water. And to roughly get the same result, I worked it out to be about 500 ml for the nine litres. Now the concentrate is a whopping 7.1, so it definitely needs to be diluted. But that's all nutrients from all the waste products. Um, you know, it's virtually just compost tea. So everything that's being broken down forms food for your plants. It's great. So there's a comparison of liquid fertilizer from the biodigester against uh, store-bought water-soluble fertilizer. Now if you're feeding your biodigester food uh, that has to be mixed up with water uh, anywhere up from 10 litres a day, that offset is 10 litres of liquid fertilizer that comes out of your tank. And for 9 litres it only takes half a litre to make it usable, like dilution, make it usable for the dilution. That's a substantial amount of free fertiliser. And uh, when you've got as many plants as I do, uh, you kind of need all the fertiliser you can get. And this is just a quick look at what's in the greenhouse. A uh, little coffee tree and got some bananas and jackfruit and tamarillos there that's in flower and other bananas and other seedlings and then there's the fruit trees down the yard which all look like bare sticks at the moment being winter all right guys thanks for watching uh still got more videos to come i've tested the biogas shower and it works finally i'm just waiting another day or so for the air match to be filled um it's speeding up the first lot it took about 10 days and then four days and we're at two at the moment and it's just about full again. So stay tuned and uh, be well.